Hey guys, it's Jacob from Edges. I'd like to show you what's new in Pack Manager 4. We added controls. Now you can edit text, images, and colors right in here. Let's see how it works. You just type something here and it updates right here. And you can export the video by pressing this button. And the cool part, if you use something often, the plugin will remember all your settings and at the next import it will auto apply them. And if you need even more flex flexibility, you can uh, use settings right here. Another feature you ask for is uh, moving files from uh, system drive. Now you can actually choose any folder on your system and move the packages there. Then uh, another feature is install Google Fonts at import. Uh, basically, it automatically downloads and installs all the fonts used in the animation. So you don't need to go to the website. Uh, like find links and download it manually. Uh, and another feature is uh, it imports footages right into your project folder. Uh, it just to prevent missing files uh, in case you move the, the project in the future. And the last one in settings is auto update. So the plugin will auto update and fix any bugs, errors, problems you have. Uh, automatically, you don't need to worry about it. Oh, actually, this one is the last one. So we added a bunch of hotkeys and you can change them. Uh, dive deep in here and explore. Next, next we have uh, boxes. You can arrange all your favorite plugins in the order you like. And the same with steps. We added a bunch of features here and added a bunch of features at import. Import and replace, import and create comp, uh, yeah, all useful, useful stuff. Next, we have animate button. Previously, we had it only in a few packages. And if you know how it works, you will absolutely love it. So now it works in all packages. And in case you have something in favorites, it will automatically pick animation from favorites. Or uh, in case you don't have anything, it will randomly import animation from your package. And we have a bunch of new tools. So uh, this one it duplicates the layer or composition with all the precompositions inside. So it basically fixes the problems that some users had. If you duplicate a, a, a composition uh, and you cannot change the text uh, like in one of them, uh, so this one fixes that problem. And uh, this button loops everything, compositions, footages, passes, masks, uh, anything you want. And this one freezes frame. So in case you just need to freeze frame or freeze frame uh, all layers in compositions, uh, anything you want, uh, you can freeze frame a few layers and continue working uh, on another layer. And that way you'll save some time because After Effects doesn't render all layers at once. Uh, anyway, you can unfreeze it at any time. Uh, it's very useful. One more free script from Aegis. I use GIF, so it exports GIFs from After Effects in one click. Uh, this plugin used to be paid and uh, it cost around 50 bucks uh, and uh, now it's free. We made it free for you. It has a bunch of settings including transparent background and uh, you can loop it as many as you want forever, don't loop at all, uh, anything you want. Again, it's free, check it out. And last one, suggest feature. In case you experience any problems, errors, uh, you have suggestions, ideas, features, uh, just send us a message, type it out, as many details as possible, and we will make sure we will update it, fix it, uh, and uh, give it to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for your support, and uh, I hope to see you soon.